Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto. And in this video, we are going to do a super taster test. Didn't, have you ever taken a super taster test? No, I've never. I've tried these strips before and you put it on your tongue and if it's bitter, something with your jeans. Oh, that's it. That's okay. what I've done. I didn't taste it. Okay. So this, I mean, I figured we should do this because we're always taste testing stuff. And it seems like you've got certain sensitivities, things like you don't like, like mm -hmm. stevia. Spicy. Stevia. Stevia. Sorry, I had to totally feed you that one. Every anytime something has stevia in it, you're always complaining about the stevia. That was not smooth. <laughs> but anyhow, um, there are, I guess, 25% of people are super tasters which means they'll be able to taste three of these strips, the ones that are not the control. So there's four total strips. One is a control, the other three have flavors. And within that group of 25%, there are also degrees of super taster. So there's a standard super taster, a recessive super taster, and a dominant super taster. Okay. So what we're gonna do, just to kind of make this semi-scientific, is I'm gonna have you randomly pick for me, like participant one, participant two, one of these five. Okay. And this is gonna be the order that you give me the strips in. Okay. All right, I don't wanna know, I shouldn't know which are which. So I'm gonna yeah. hand these over to you. Okay. And then we're gonna repeat the same experiment for you. Okay. So um, I will kind of turn away here. You figure out which one I am and then get the strips in order. I can open them. Are you cheating? No, I was seeing if there's a. Are they hard to open? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can. No, you just, just twist. All you gotta do is twist. It just pops right out. Okay. It's so hard not to look. Just close so your eyes. I'm super tempted. Close your eyes. I don't eyes. wanna close my eyes. I'll just keep looking over here. I'm ready. All right. You decided which one I am. Yes. Are, are they labeled? They're not labeled at all. No. Okay, so I won't be able to tell. No. And you know, you know which participant I am. Yeah. All right. I'm ready for number one. This pretty much tastes like paper. Okay. You're not writing next to the participant. No. It's okay. So number one, paper. That's all I got. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I feel like I just ate newspaper. Okay. This one is mildly sweet. This one, oh, should talk my mouth full. That one had almost a, uh, almost a little bit of a, a, a spice, like a burn sort of. Spicy? Yeah, a, a little bit. I mean, it's it's more like uh, without the flavor that you get from a pepper, but still sort of that, you know, that, that burn a little bit. Interesting. And maybe a slight bit of bitterness. Now it's, it sort of lingers in my mouth, a little bit of bitterness. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, bitter. Very bitter. Very bitter. Now I'm going to do the same for you. Okay. And then we can do the reveal. Okay. My eyes are closed. Okay. Maybe you can like put up on the screen for them. Yeah, yeah. that's that's okay. exactly what I plan on doing. Okay. Well, you have enough, there is enough strips in here to test everyone you'll ever know for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah they maybe. actually have you, they recommend that you do four rounds of testing, but we're Jeez. not gonna do that. Or, well, like, this is, like, a good thing to do for, like, class. Like, when we did this in school, you know. All right. Test strip number one. I don't think I taste anything. Nothing? Okay. So I guess, like, uh, a good career if you're a super taster is a sommelier. Uh -huh. Good at wine tasting. 
Bitter. Bitter? Yeah. Yeah, quite. Pretty bitter. Pretty bitter. All right. Number three. Mm, nothing really. Maybe a little bitter, but that also might just be like lingering. Okay. So, nothing really. Number four. Sweet. So, what, uh, which group was I? Four. I was in group four. And you were in group five. So, let's see. I got nothing on the control, which... That's good news. Nothing on the control. Uh, sodium benzoate was sweet to me. And it said, taste varies from sweet, salty, bitter, or tasteless. Okay. So, I picked up on that one. Uh, the next one was PTC. And I said, spicy bitter. And it says, uh, taste bitter or tasteless, depending on the taster. So... And then the last one is the Thor, Thor, boy, Theorea. Theorea test paper. And it says that will taste bitter. So I, uh, I got them all. Good job. So I am a dominant super taster. I guess that's a good thing then, you know, when we're doing reviews. For you, uh, the PTC, you tasted nothing. And what do we say that was supposed to be? PTC was mm. like sl spicy bitter, or that I said I said sort of spicy slash bitter, okay. but just bitter. But you didn't really get anything on yeah. that, so that was a miss. Uh, Theoria bitter. Yep, you found it bitter. Control nothing. You got nothing, and uh, then uh, sodium benzoate, which is sweet, and you got that. Yeah. So the one you didn't get was the PTC. That's not actually a category here. It says, can taste PTC and determine the difference between PTC and control is a standard tester. Recessive, everything but sodium benzoate, and you're able to taste that. And uh, a dominant is you can taste all of them. So it could be, you know, that could be a good reason for doing multiple trials through yeah. multiple runs because maybe one time you know especially since that was the first thing you tasted maybe you weren't really sure what you were tasting yet but i think we both sort of fall into that dominant super taster bucket then mm -hmm. or you're pretty close to dominant super taster so there you go there you go yeah the sweet one was very sweet for me yeah i don't know so if you would like to get one of these kits and let me tell you there is a gajillion strips in here. There's got to be at least 100. 100. So it says 100 strips. So yeah. you will absolutely be able to test yourself, your family, your friends, everybody. And it's not expensive either. No, the kit's pretty cheap. Yeah. But I will link to it down in the description below. If you'd like to get it, try it out. Kind of fun. Might be a neat little party thing. Yeah. Maybe a fun thing to do. We used to, your mom and I, would have little wine tasting parties where we'd have... Every, everybody in the neighborhood would bring over a bottle of wine and we'd, we'd bag them up so that we couldn't see what they were and then we would do blind taste testing. And I think if you were doing something like that, doing a test with these strips first might be a pretty cool sort of lead-in. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, cool. there you go. Just a little kitchen science. Hope you enjoyed it. Yep, see you next time. Thanks for watching.